Praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahusha, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and may peace and blessings be multiplied to the hopeful elect. Um, I just want to get to the point with this article on um, basically the RFID chip. It's a. Uh, it says Albany, the U.S. House of Representatives, Thursday morning passed the bill to make it easier to track autistic kids who wander off from educational institutions. Named in part for a New York City teen who drowned in the East River after slipping out of his school, Kevin and Avante's law would reauthorize and expand a program designed to help locate missing Alzheimer's patients to now include autistic children. The bill will allow parents and caregivers to voluntarily apply to have non-invasive tracking technology attached to their kids that can be used to help locate someone who has wandered away from their home or school. And basically, <clears throat> that's like uh, it's like in regards to the chip, you know how this uh, how the so-called uh, white man Esau, how he do things, he's gradual. He don't just, you know, just smack, boom, they go to chip, boom, you know, he, he kind of, uh, he kind of guides things, you know. He kind of like eases eases into it, and that's something the way he, he is going ease in, is going ease into the RFID chip because it said non-invasive tracking, and is uh the way it's implied, it's implied like it's a necessity because the 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 devil, which is you know devil mean deceiver, the uh this Edomite, this deceiver, he basically wants you to feel like it's a necessity, like it's a need. See, they make the uh. They make the economy and they make the uh, the world, so to speak, and uh, they put it in the condition. That's why I say order uh, on the back of the dollar. I believe it's a uh, annual coeptus. I think it means uh, order out of chaos. They put uh, they make these chaotic uh, situations, and then they come. They 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 call the situation, and then they come with the answer. But they had they had that all along. Like the the chip is is a plan. Is just uh in they in they plans and workings. You know they just gotta make the situation right for it. All right, let me get a uh, quick scripture. This is Psalm 55 and 21. It says, uh, "The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords." Yeah, because when you read that law, that's 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 smooth. Like that, those are some smooth things to say. Oh yeah, we're going to put non-invasive tracking, um, you know, to help the Alzheimer's patients and the autistic kids. But and then, but it says um, in his heart is drawn swords. You know, like that's that's basically to usher in uh, the whole martial law, uh, Jacob's trouble that the scripture speak, speaks about, which is going to be a time that uh that has never been upon the earth. Uh, when you read in the scriptures about uh, the Israelites and all the uh, trials and tribulations the Israelites went through, which is the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and uh, so-called Latinos, and it, we say so-called because that's what they are so-called, but that's not the truth. But they, we Israelites, all right. So uh, basically, back to what I was saying, like through all their trials and tribulations under the different captivities under the other nations, this is, is going to be a time where it's going to be it's going to be uncomparable. But uh, Basically, Esau uh, ushering in, um, trying to usher in that chip because the chip that the Bible speaks and the Bible speaks on that. Let's get that scripture real quick. Cause the the Bible, this book is current. You know, the Bible ain't um, like a lot of people believe. The Bible is just a bunch of collection of stories where uh, it's good. It's good to uh, how how can I put this? Because the average person thinks like, all right, like you got, you might have, you have the Bible, you have the Quran, you have uh, the Vedas, you have all type of type of other uh, uh, sources of uh, religion where they just think, well, they all get their points and you can just dib and dab and pick and come up with your own thing. That's basically what people think the Bible is, just something to take, take what you agree with and disregard what you can't understand and don't agree with. But it's not like that. You know, it's a uh, it's a current it's a current book for the Israelites to uh, it's basically like a guidebook. It's an Israelite guidebook, right? But it says uh, get a script.
Okay, here it is. This is the Revelation 14 and 9. It says, uh, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So basically, like when they say receive the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast is the chip. It's a physical thing. It's not an embargo. It's not John 3.16. It's not Christianity. Because you got to look up what words mean. You know, the Bible was written so many thousands of years ago, the Bible wasn't originally written in English. You know, a lot of words you can't translate to English. And when you read uh when you read the prologue to uh Sirach, it says things other uh in the Hebrew tongue things certain things in the Hebrew that when you speak it in another language it don't got the same force. It don't got the same power. It don't it don't even have the same meaning. You know, you might read one word in uh, English, you know, you might read a, a scripture in the Bible in English, then you go to original Hebrew and it broaden your understanding like uh, John, like that scripture John 3.16, the word world. Reading that in English, it makes you feel that for God so loved the whole world. And that's not even Hebrew, that's Greek. And you got to go into the Greek too, because you go into Greek, then it, it lets you know for God so loved the whole cosmos, you know, a ordered, a ordered uh, arrangement. You know, a particular, even when you, if you go to dictionary.com right now and type in the word world, the second definition is going to say a particular division of the earth. So the most high loved a particular division of the earth, and that particular division is the Israelites, all right? But uh, back to the mark of the beast, and uh, the scripture says whoever received that mark is going to receive, uh, it says uh, the same shall drink of the wine of wrath. Wrath is like fierce, fierceness, like anger. The wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and shall be tormented with fire. So those who receive that mark is going to be tormented with fire. And you know that's why when uh, the scripture says uh, measure the time diligently, like as far as like the prophecies uh, coming coming past as we as we live in our life, you know the Lord put me in out there to let you know. So. Ain't nobody going to be able to say, well, I didn't know. Sorry, Lord. I ain't know. You ain't tell me. If you would have sent me somebody. But the Lord, the, uh, the, Lord, the Lord sends people, man. The Lord sends his men to let you know. Uh, let's see. Let me get another scripture. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is Revelation 13. Verse 16, it says, uh, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So it don't matter what walk of life you're coming out of. It don't matter if you're coming from, you know, being a homeless or being a uh, Fortune 500, you know. It says, uh, and that no man might buy or sell, save, and that word save basically saying unless, save he that hath the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So that further lets you know is a physical thing. How you not going to buy or sell with Christianity? You know? <clears throat> How you not going to buy or sell, you know, without, uh, without John 3.16? This lets you know it's going to be a physical mark. Like, the, the, if you, uh, Keep track of like certain things in uh, the technology world. People got the mark already. You know, I was I was seeing this thing. People got the uh, in Australia. A lot of people got the mark. They had this thing on TV. Uh, where like this one job, this one this some type of job facility. All their employees got the mark. And then not only uh, or the the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. They uh, they can um, open their um their car doors with a wave of the hand. Their house, you know. But, oh, and you can even, uh, the grocery shop, like how people got the chip and they, uh, debit cards now, uh, they might tell you, you got the chip, you know, you got the chip, and but it's in your debit card and you put it in there. You got people going to the grocery store just waving their hand, paying for their groceries, you know? And the thing is, because we already, we already slaves, 
under this uh, system, right? With the birth certificate, you know, uh, the social security card. You need so many. You need so many forms of identification, so the devil can keep track of you. You know, the devil can always profit off you. But he trying to. He going He uh, with the mark of the beast with the chip. It's to further. It's to. It's basically saying that that is your God. You know. Because because the Most High is uh, omnipotent, which is all powerful, omnipresent, which is everywhere at once, and omniscient, which is all knowing. The devil, it's the, the scripture says he he uh, he attempts to uh, he sets himself up as the Most High. He wants to be the Most High, so he got a uh, he got a false way of doing of doing things. He want to be all powerful, all knowing, and um, everywhere at once, and and that's his. Uh, that's that's him attempting to do that with this uh with this RFID chip. Uh, another scripture, real quick. Uh, this is Second Ezra's. Sixteen and sixty-eight. I'm gonna read 68 and 69. <clears> this <throat> second Ezra uh, chapter 16 verse 68 it says, "For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you." And 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 it's 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 that like the you know it's starting now. Like when you see these these uh these Edomites man uh they they are. They got a lot of courage off this Trump juice, you know. We uh, we liken it unto unto Trump juice, man, because with Trump being in office, it's uh, it gave it, it's emboldened them. They these people are emboldened now, you know. You you uh you see Edomite men uh walking by before Trump was in office a couple of years ago. They get that little that little quick uh Edomite smile that you know that. Hi, yes yeah, sir. How you doing? You know. Now it's like they they up in your face, you know, might bump you, you know, burping in your face, spitting in your direction, you know. It says, uh, for behold, the, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and that was going to be those martial law troops, all right. It says, uh, and they shall take away certain of you and, uh, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, and, you know, those who don't have the Lord, you know, if you ain't putting your faith and trust in the Lord, then you are gonna feel like you ain't got no option but to take that chip. You gonna you gonna try to reason with yourself. Well, my kids gotta eat. I mean, I I, I can't let them go without eating. I can't watch them die. You know, so reasoning with, with, within yourself, but not a right. You gonna take that chip. And when you read verse uh, sixty nine, it says, "And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision." So even if you even if you uh, accept the chip, you don't you gonna think that's the answer, but you're gonna be had in derision. Because the whole time it says, and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Shimon Shai. So even those that take the chip, you still you still gonna be um, included in Jacob's trouble, thrown in the concentration camps, and then you still gotta face the wrath of the Lord. Because the Lord said, uh, um, in Revelation um, 14, Revelation 14, it says that uh, that those that consent unto the mark of the beast, they're gonna be tormented with fire. They're gonna receive the uh, the wrath uh, of this end of nation without mixture, you know. And um, I have another scripture because that's that's basically the RFID chip precursor, you know, like this devil does. He, he gradual, it'd it, it be gradual, you know. But it says, uh, let me see. Scripture that I had. <clears throat> this is a uh, scripture. Is this? I think it's. I had it in my phone. It was. Uh, I think it was Isaiah. Salakia. Let me see if I can find this scripture. Now my, now my phone don't want to work to get this scripture out 
connection problem. Let me see. It might have been uh, Isaiah 32. Let me see. Nope. That's not it. Oh, so lucky. It, it's, it's Jeremiah. I believe it's Jeremiah. I want to get this scripture real fast. You know what? I'm not going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to find the scripture. So what I'll do is, uh, in the, uh, in the comment box, that little, uh, box where you write under there, I'll put the scripture in the comment box and, uh, write a brief, uh, write a brief explanation on it. But it was basically uh, regarding um, it was basically regarding Esau, you know, the so-called white man, with how he with how he speaks, you know, like how he how he words things, you know, because it because uh, when you read in Genesis it said the serpent the serpent was more subtle than any any beast of the field, and subtle in the in the scripture I went into the word in the um in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew, uh, in that scripture, what I want the word is. Let me see. It might. It might have came back up. That word is kala, or kalaa, I believe. And that word, when you go into that word, it means scoundrel. And then when you further go into the word, see, uh, the water you have by some y'all. The scripture then came up. All right. Uh, this is uh, this is Jeremiah. 32 and 7 it says the instruments also of the churl are evil now that word I was talking about is churl uh, uh, kala I believe and it, it said that the word means scoundrel it says the instruments also of the churl are evil like the RFID is the is instrument of, this, of the, uh, the churl now let's see what that word means it means it, it's, uh, it's kala I don't think that's what that is in the Hebrew, but I believe that word is. I'm um. Let me see how it sound. Strong's H thirty five ninety six. Kilai. It say kilai. Kilai. But ain't no e sound in Hebrew, Second so it might be kilai. Kilai. Okay. Kilai. It says uh, scoundrel, knave. Okay, then you go down to the Jesenius Hebrew Child Lexicon. It says, fraudulent, deceitful, crafty. Yeah, you know, because the instruments of the of the churl are they are they are uh, they are fraudulent, deceitful, and crafty like that. That's not that's not really that uh that non-invasive tracking. That's not really to keep track of the Alzheimer's patients and uh, the autistic children. You know, they those they, just be situations where they can implement their agenda. You know, it says uh, the instruments also of the churl are evil. That's evil because if it weren't evil, that punishment would be so great for it that the Lord got got for those who take the uh, mark of the beast. It says the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak it right. You know, and and uh, the so-called white man, he does that in every facet of the Israelite life, but just applying it to um with the mark of the beast, it says with lying words, even when the needy speak it right, and and um we the needy, the Israelites overall as a as a whole nation, we the needy, we in need of what salvation, we in need of deliverance, we don't got our own land, we can't we, we can't even fluently speak our own language, we don't even have the things. That sets you up as a culture. Like when you look up uh, definitions of, you know, when you understand what a culture is. You gotta have, you gotta have your own land. You gotta have your own, um, your own language, your own system. You know, well, not what system means pit, but your own way of life, your own ordinances specific to you. 
and we and we ain't the conditions we in. We can't even we can't even follow the uh, the laws of the Bible because those are our those are our ways of life. The ways of the Bible, Hebrew that's our language, Israel that's our land. The things that make you a culture are are denied us, you know. But uh, with that, I just want to say all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, Lord willing, um, Yahweh Rathazah, this video was edifying to, um, you know, the Akim around the world. Shalom.